Well, it's powerful because we, many people, and a lot of them are women, have been invited through memoir to speak, to, to have a voice. Uh, many people who have been disempowered, perhaps, in other parts of their lives or earlier parts of their lives now are, are, are go, well, dare I, dare I say this, dare I write? I was one of them. I, I was like, I was taught children should be seen and not heard and that you better keep the family secrets or else and don't you dare air your dirty laundry in public. And the good news, sort of, uh, sounds hard to say, but the people who would say all those things to me if I were writing a memoir when they were alive weren't alive. So I was freed to still write my book, but they talk in our heads and they're like ghosts kind of and we still are haunted by them and when we're writing a memoir and this is true for most people. So the, the empowerment of having a voice and the empowerment of learning that you construct a book, you construct a story. Uh, it isn't just this happened and then that happened and then that happened. You decide what are the important things that I need to say? What do I need to share? What do you, dear reader, need to know that I can teach you, that I can share with you about my life and not only my personal life but how life is lived, how, how, what we need to know to survive, what we need to know to create a better life and have hope. Thank you for listening. Please review our other available content for help writing, publishing, and marketing your book. If you have any questions about the Author Learning Center, please contact us by email at authorsupport at authorlearningcenter.com.